Hi, it's Dr. Ware. It's been a while since we've done our last video. So we're gonna do a series um, of several instructional videos on how to do just kind of random things or more maintenance things with your dogs and cats um, that can be done at home that your veterinarian is going to recommend. So we'll go through uh, several different instructional videos. The first we're gonna start with is brushing your dog's teeth and cat teeth if they'll allow you and they don't leave an imprint on your hand of their uh, dentition, that wouldn't be good. Um, but the first we're gonna do is an instructional video on brushing your dog's teeth. So this is my new puppy, Evie. I'm very proud to have her as addition to the family. She's a, she's a sweetheart. Um, so I think when we start, a couple good things to know. Whenever I'm brushing teeth, I like to kind of grab on the, the top of the maxilla or the top of the jaw. And I like to grab right behind the canine tooth. Now she's still got her puppy teeth, which are very sharp, uh, but that's okay. I can still grab it because there's a little um, space between the teeth right after the canine where I can kind of grab a grip of those teeth if I want to. You have to make teeth brushing fun. That's the most important thing. If you're, when you're doing all these things at home, if, if, if it's a miserable experience, your dog's gonna remember, they're gonna hate it, and you're never gonna be able to do it again. So most importantly, when you're going through this process, make sure it's fun, give them loving, give them kisses, give them treats, do whatever you have to do, do what they really enjoy but we may want to make it a good experience for them. So we've got our treats ready. I like freeze-dried liver, mmm, delicious. Um, and then we've got our toothbrush. I just have a regular old toothbrush, it's nothing special. Um, you certainly can buy dog toothbrushes. It's really dependent upon the size of the animal. This toothbrush is just a human toothbrush, but it'll work fine for a little Evie here. And then we've got our flavored. Now this is a poultry flavor, delicious. Uh, again, toothpaste for dogs specifically because there's no fluoride in it. So if they swallow it, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and they do flavor it, so they will swallow it. So kind of get everything ready before we get started here. We're gonna load up our toothbrush. Now with people, you kind of have to spend a fair amount of time on every single surface of the tooth. With dogs, that's not going to be possible. And the shape of the tooth is way different for dogs. Um, you know, in people, there's the flat surface, the, what we call the occlusal surface that people have. Well, dogs have more like a mountain, um, and that's for chewing and gripping and things. So when we're brushing the, the teeth on the dog, we only need to get the outer surface of the actual tooth, okay? We don't have to get like the top, which is more like a point anyway. So we got our treats ready. ready. We're gonna give our little lady here maybe a little appetizer. And she's a slow Girl. chewer, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> All right, okay, so we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna switch over positions. Lexus is kind of just helping me out. And I'm just gonna hold up the top of the lip here. And I'm gonna start with the back, okay? Back and forth. And when she's licking like that, that's no big deal. Most importantly, what we're doing is just getting the big teeth that we need to. Oh, you are such a sweetheart. Okay, we got one side done. You don't have to do it for an extended period of time. You know, if I stay on that one surface of the tooth for maybe 10 to 20 seconds, that's solid. We've created an, enough friction there to remove any, um, any food par particles. We're gonna get the front chompers. I'm not holding her hard when I'm grabbing her mouth. I'm kind of working with her. She's gonna move around a bit and that's okay. Oh, you're so sweet. Good, and again, make it a good experience. Give her loving. Good job, Evie. There's your cookies. Okay, I'm gonna load up with a little more toothpaste. We're gonna hit this side one more time. Gonna hit that canine tooth there. All right. And we're gonna do it once more. Good job, good job. All right, perfect. So that's all you need to do. Do the best you can in terms of getting that out, outer surface of those big premolars and molars on the back, the canine teeth, and then the incisors, and then the, do the same on the other end. Like I said, you don't need to open their mouth and get the inside surface or towards the tongue, anything like that. Dogs really don't get cavities or things on, that, on those surfaces. So the outside surface, 
and you'll be good to go. Now, in terms of frequency, the more often that you can do it, the better. You know, is it realistic to say brush your dog's teeth every day? Not in my household. We got dogs, cats, chicken, kids. It's a zoo over there. But um, if you can do it maybe every other day or every third day, you're, way, you're gonna be way ahead of the curve in terms of staying on top of their oral hygiene and, and healthcare. So that'd be a big benefit. Thanks so much for joining us.